Hello everyone, so in this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to wear your face masks uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic. And um, I work in the hospital, and uh, so a lot of times I actually see the patients coming over here wearing uh, like very, very good masks, N95 masks. However, uh, they wore it completely wrong and the mask was actually not sealing their mouth or their nose properly. So that actually kind of worries me because I think for the general public, especially if it's the first time you're using a mask because there was uh, no need to have the masks on before, now you need, now it's most definitely most important time for you to know how to properly wear your face masks. Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm gonna actually demonstrate two kinds of face masks. So one is your standard surgical mask, which have a uh, has a pleated design. So another one is a KN95 masks. Uh, those masks are uh, those masks are actually what the healthcare workers use or prefer because this mask seals better compared to a regular surgical mask. However, for general public, if you're just out on the street, you're not dealing directly with COVID-19 patients, a traditional surgical mask should work just fine. Um, however, if you want the best protection, the KN95 mask is probably your best bet. And again, um, there are N95 masks on the market. However, they are very scarce, and most of them are probably already bought up by healthcare workers or the governments. Um, so your best chance as a consumer to get a mask is probably one of those KN95 masks. So if you're wondering what is the difference between the N95 and KN95 masks, well, the performance-wise, there is no difference at all. The N95 masks are the standard are actually designed in the 70s by 3M in the United States. Um, to protect all kinds of workers from environmental hazards by providing a specification for the filtration level uh, the mask can provide. The N95 masks are actually a Chinese standard and which actually pretty much mimics the standard of the N95 masks. And the KN95 mask is actually what's being used during the pandemic for the last couple months in China. By the way, 3M also sells KN95 masks in China, if you didn't know about that. Because if you want to sell, if you want to sell in the Chinese market, you need to have the Chinese certification. Just like if you want to sell in the US market, you need the N95 certification. However, during this pandemic, the CDC and the NIOHS has decided that KN95 masks and some other masks from the other, uh, from around the world has you know, has been approved to be used in this kind of a pandemic situation in the United States. So yes, the performance wise, they're exactly the same. So if you could get a KN95 masks, by all means do. Um, actually, I'm gonna provide a link down below on where you can buy some at a very affordable price um, instead of, you know, on the Amazon or eBay where I think most of the sellers are actually price gouging um, on those masks, which are really bad. Okay, with the differences, out of the way. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the surgical mask. So the surgical mask uh, usually it comes in different colors and it usually is pleated design again and it, it's actually directional so you always want to find the piece that have the um, you know the, the end that had a metal piece on top that goes around your nose okay so when you put the mask on try to not touch the surface of the mask. Try try to avoid touching the surface of the mask and just use this hand, both hands to grab it and extend it and put it on your nose and extend through your ear. So the next step, what I always do is I grab the bottom, extend it all the way past your chin on the bottom. So that way the bottom part is nicely covered. And the next step is adjusting your nose piece. That's where most patients came over here, you know, doing the wrong way they didn't touch anything about the, they didn't care anything about the nose piece. So the nose piece was exposed. If you see from the top, it's not covering my nose. So if I'm breathing, the air goes in from the top, which is not good, most definitely not good. And your glass gets fogged up like really quickly. 
that that way you know it's not you know properly sealed so what you need to do use two fingers press down and form fit the mask onto your nose you know it's properly sealed when it's form fitted in a v shape and that's how you properly wear the surgical masks okay i've seen a lot of patients came over here with nose piece not properly adjusted that's the worst way you can wear the mask because it gives you a false sense of security it's, you're not being protected okay so that's horrible make sure i adjust the nose piece and the bottom part make sure you pull it out all the way under your chin don't leave it like that that's stupid okay put it all the way under your chin and that way it gives a very nice seal on the bottom so the top is also very well sealed the only side that's kind of slightly leaking is around the edge but then again it should work perfectly fine if you have a normal face type okay so the best way to test if your mask is properly sealed or not for your ladies out there use your perfume just spray some perfume around your neck and then start smelling your perfume if you cannot smell the perfume your surgical mask is well fitted onto your face for the guys uh, use a cologne or use your girlfriend or wife's perfume either way same thing just spray some around your neck and then try to smell it through your nose if you cannot smell it it's well fitted and uh, you should be good to go with the surgical mask okay so next i'm gonna try the kn95 mask when you take off the mask always grab from the string don't touch the mask at all if you're gonna be reusing the mask i always just leave it with the um with the front part facing down on the table so and try not to touch the mask again until you need to use it again okay um so that's for surgical mask let's go for kn95 masks so i have this one over here so it usually comes over like this folded to save space and you need to unfold it of course i'm not going to use this new one i'm going to be using my existing one which is right over here so this is why i use in the hospital and unfortunately due to the short supply we can only use one mask uh, for an extended period of time so um that's why i'm still reusing this one i'm trying to save a few that i had um for later use okay the kn95 masks are designed to better seal your face um, compared to the uh the regular surgical mask that's why in hospital settings doctors need kn95 masks because they are in close contact with potentially covid 19 infected patients for general public surgical mask works just fine if you want the best protection for your own sake of safety by all means get the kn95 masks and again i'm going to put a link down below on where you can buy it for a fairly affordable price and uh, next let's uh put this mask on again the key point i'm going to point out in a little bit is try not to touch the mask itself just use your strings kind of fit it on your face a little bit around your ear and if you have glasses make sure it's under your glasses make sure it's not on top of your glasses and that's one way i saw one patient did completely wrong she had glasses over here and she had the mask like over like that that's not gonna do much okay it's gonna leak air like really bad so because this one is form fitted as you can see the entire area is nicely hugged onto my face okay the only area you need to adjust again the most important part is your nose piece make sure it's form fitted make sure it's nicely adjusted with your two finger very nicely on your nose conforming to your nose shape okay so you need to adjust to make sure there's no place leaking around your nose and now as you can see i'm gonna take off my glasses this mask has been like very securely fitted around my face there is no leak again use the perfume test and uh, that should help you find out if your mask is leaking or not and it's probably the quickest and easiest way to test okay and if you have any questions about the kn95 masks the surgical masks 
or the N95 masks, feel free to ask me in the comments section down below. Again, as I said, regardless of what kind of mask, you need very basically a surgical mask to protect you uh, at the public space. And again, the reason I don't really I don't really promote self-made masks is because the particular material used in those masks, even though it's disposable, that material actually effectively filters out um, particle size. If you're using any fabric that's not actually engineered to do the job, you might it might also give you a sense of forced security as well. So uh, do the perfume test, especially if you make your own mask at home. Use some perfume spray around, and if you can smell the perfume, that mask is no good. It's not doing its job, okay? Um, you need to go out and get a proper, even if it's disposable surgical mask, you need to get a surgical mask. Best thing best, get a KN95 mask. Let's say the filtration efficiency is 95% plus. And because uh, why you don't want N99 masks? Because N99 masks restricts airflow. N95 is the best of both words. It, I can breathe normally and uh, it filters out a lot or filters out and filters in uh, and gives uh, the best protection possible. Okay, so that's why all the healthcare workers in China used KN95 masks. And um, over here, it's the same thing. Doctor used N95 masks and in some areas, KN95 masks where N95 masks are not available. One last thing, do not buy KN95 masks or N95 masks with a air valve. That air valve is, especially if you had COVID-19 and you're wearing that mask, you are still risking to breathe out, to let out the air droplets from your infected aerosol, saliva, whatever, and then have the chance of infecting other people. Okay, do not buy vented valved 95 masks you need unvented this is the best way to protect yourself and protect the people around you and protect the general public and do your job